Amsterdam is a place where you can have a really nice life, but you really have to make it. You have to go out there and find the people that are your people, you know? And you have to make it your own because it's all there for you to do and to experience, but you really, really have to make it your own, you know? Find the, those people that really fit with you and then you can have a really great life. Yes, yes, I do have advices for the newcomers. The first thing they have to do is uh, look for a house before even they look for a job because it's harder to find a house than it is to find a job, at least in my experience. Like houses are like the gold of Amsterdam, like a house, a an apartment. Uh, there is a, a gigantic shortage of rentable, affordable rooms here in Amsterdam. I'm talking especially if you're a student, ooh, that's tough. Unless you have enough money to buy your own place, you will find that it is extremely difficult to find a place to stay. I was very lucky, so I never had to really look for a place. But I've seen my friends, many of my friends, almost all my friends, having trouble with finding a house. And as a matter of fact, I, I hosted many of them in my apartment, even just for a couple of nights, because they needed a place to stay. And I was thinking like, wow, I don't know what is going on out there, but it seems like it's, it's becoming impossible to find a house in this place. Everyone wants to live in Amsterdam, everyone. It will be very hard to stay here if you don't have a place to stay and if you don't um, manage to find work. That's a thing, that's for sure. If you really want to put all your effort in it and you want to work, you will be able to come to Amsterdam and it's gonna be all good. If you're someone that's lazy and is like, oh, I'm gonna go there and try to get some uh, social money and welfare, and then it's gonna be really difficult. You're more than welcome to stay here, but I mean, yeah, do something good for yourself. Everybody needs money and money is one of the biggest problems worldwide, that everybody wants to make more money than the other. I mean, some people want to work for it, some people want to do something for it, and some people just want to take it from, from them. Somebody come from the side and it's just take advantage of the situation because it's really easy in here. It's like biting the hand that is feeding you. Nobody is giving you flat work and life on the on the silver platter, you know, like Collins, come on, here is it, take it. No, you have to try to manage. I was one of those happy guys which managed to to settle up here, to live, to meet new people, to experience Amsterdam and Netherlands. But I can't say it was easy. It was, in the beginning, really pain in the ass. I don't think it's that hard to find work here. Uh, I mean, I work in the Horeca and there are plenty of jobs there, so if you're going to work in a restaurant or a bar, I know it's quite easy, you don't have to speak Dutch. First off, master uh, the English language immediately. And if you can, the Dutch one. Even before you come here, they will make everything easier. If you are moving to Amsterdam to stay um, and you speak good English, you will find it extremely difficult to learn Dutch because Dutch people, wherever you are, will always, the moment they're here, you're from a different country, they will start speaking English to you and they'll refuse to speak Dutch. I don't know why. It's something we do. Everybody speaks English here. and. Even the Dutch people do a lot in English. Uh, we swear a lot in English. We use a lot of English words. Uh, so as far as the language, I don't think it's necessary to prepare yourself. I think people should learn Dutch. It's, it's for, for English speakers, it's harder than for uh, non-English speakers because uh, Dutch people generally tend to, uh, to speak your language rather than have you speak theirs badly. But if you want to uh, integrate here, I think you need to learn the language. You, otherwise, you're always going to be an outsider. And you, you, you just miss a lot. You miss the news, you miss a lot of conversation. If you want to come to Amsterdam, learn Dutch. Don't, and, and 
doesn't matter how they say it, just say it the way they do. <laughs> and you have already half of the battle won. When you respect the place that you come in and you show that respect learning Dutch, you have you have a lot of, a lot less of the Kut Bautelander remarks. The Dutch government isn't too fond of welcoming everybody with open arms. Um, you need a reason to be here. With every bit of paperwork, every bit of bureaucracy that you're going to face, there's probably some rule that they're not telling you that you really have to find out for yourself, you know? Because uh, Dutch people just grow up knowing this. And as a foreigner, you have to find it. You need to go and talk straight to people. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean to be aggressive, but you really need to show people that you know what you're talking about and what you need. Otherwise, you're helpless here. You maybe sooner or later you have to communicate, contact the kind of offices or governmental or whatsoever. And when you hear the answer, uh, no, that means I don't know. It's a very good tip, believe me. So what you do then, you ask for something and the person, the uh, clerk answers you, uh, no, that means he doesn't know and doesn't want to say I don't know. So, so uh, go and ask another person. I kind of found a way to get around everything I ever had to. So yeah, I'm kind of okay with it. There's a backdoor to anything in Holland. I mean, there are rules, but unlike Germany, you can always escape from them. I mean, I'm not trying to break the law, of course, but yeah. Sometimes it's helpful to break some rules. It's Amsterdam is good, but uh, you have to be careful. <laughs> you can, your path can skid very, very fast. You have to be careful. Als je maat houdt, kan je veel genieten. En dat betekent niet dat je altijd maat hoeft te houden. Een beetje mateloosheid op zijn tijd, er is niks mis mee. Maar als je de hele tijd de mateloosheid ingaat en je dan ja, mol je jezelf, dan brand je af. Het klinkt heel spannend, candle on both sides burning, maar gewoon, uh, je bent wel teken zo snel op. Uh, en, en daar zie je ook zat voorbeelden van, van mensen die ja, niet met de mogelijkheden van Amsterdam kunnen omgaan. Die zich verliezen in... De grenzeloosheid die er kan zijn. Ik do not think that you will come here, start smoking joints and party every night and make it to the end of the month. You can get lost in Amsterdam if you are not careful. Lost meaning like not you you don't find your way home, you really get lost. Like where am I? What am I doing? I don't remember who I am. And I've seen many people who came here. <clears throat> Oh yeah, let's go, let's party, yes, enjoy, no, let's get drunk, wasted, ooh, uh, drugs, ooh, uh, prostitutes, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the month, they were back home. Because they spent everything, because they spent themselves. The small houses were all on top of each other here. I mean, just even the bathroom situation, you know? It's something to be reckoned with that's not like in America, where... It's just not an issue, you know, houses are so big, things are so far apart, I mean, that, that kind of stuff. For me as a foreign student, uh, the biggest thing I had to deal with was mostly uh, the weather, because, you know, as, as you go farther away to the, to the north, like uh, the days go bigger in the summer, but smaller in the winter time. So having to deal with gloomy weather and uh, long nights doesn't really help the culture shock. When I first got here, I, one, was going through culture shock. I didn't quite realize how loud I spoke. Amsterdam is a very calm place. You'll hear people shouting on the street, and you'll look, and you'll see Dutch people going, oh. It's a very quiet, chilled-out place to be. I noticed that I had to kind of calm myself down a little bit. It, it's a little bit shocking to realize that actually, you do have to conform. If you want to be here, then you have to be prepared to become part of society. And the parts of it that you don't like, you're going to have to put in a drawer and leave there. Because 
and otherwise it'll just never work. And there are several attitudes, I think, I could observe from the foreigners. Uh, first attitude, criticize. Criticize everything. Like, I don't like this, I don't like bicycles, I don't like, you know, this and this and this. This is one of the uh, uh, attitudes. And it's very difficult to get rid of it. If you want to criticize, then, well, I cannot help you. <laughs> you have to find a way. And other people are just trying to, to learn or to find their own place. And I think the best way to do that is to melt within the, within the communities, within the people. The Dutch have their own rules. It doesn't seem so obvious. In most cultures, it seems so obvious what their rules are. But here, it's a little bit more hidden, a little bit more quiet. And that's, that can be quite confusing. You're going to come here and don't expect that every, everything is going to be perfect. No, you have to find a house, you have to find a job and all those things that maybe it sounds easy, but not for everybody. It's not that easy. You need skills for some things and also you need to be patient. It's a nice place to live, but it's not easy. Yeah, it was a challenge to stay here. Nobody wants to go somewhere and then walk away with the tail between the legs, huh? So it was a little bit hard in the beginning. You might be apt to stay a little bit longer until your tail stands up and you're looking over there like, hey, how you doing? Well, life is always easier if you go anywhere in the world and you have some friends to show you new things or how to do things or how to get around or where to go. Okay, well, don't expect to meet friends immediately. Things, they go slowly and on time. Things, they, um, like a puzzle, they build little by little. You are that situation make you friends. It's, you, can, you, you cannot make one plan, okay, tomorrow, okay, I'm going to make 10 friends. That's not possible. Every time that situation where you are, that situation make you a lot of friends. Keep your heart open, kind with the people, and uh, there is going to meet a lot of people. Don't, don't be selfish, going to be free life. Don't think that the place is going to rescue you from all your problems. You make your happiness uh, wherever you are because it's inside you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Don't be afraid also like to talk to people. Because people are uh, pretty much, in this city, pr people are willing to talk to you. People are always down to help each other in Amsterdam. Be prepared for the openness, the, the mix of cultures. And look through the sometimes seemingly cold exterior, you know? I, I, when I moved to the, the streets when I live now, I just went to the bar downstairs and say, Hi, I'm Henrik. I'm just newcomer. Uh, hey, hello, hello, like that, out of the blue. And, and then generates immediately something. I think it's, it's not easy to build a network of friends living in Amsterdam uh, if you haven't got friends already. But I would say that your chances are biggest if you find uh, things you have in common rather than just, I want to be friends because I want to live in Amsterdam, because every person in Amsterdam has six of those already. So you live in Amsterdam, can you get me a house? Everybody wants to live in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, you must belong to the scene. Whatever scene it is, is a drug scene, is an art scene, is a film scene, is a music scene, is a whatever, but you, you belong to one of, one of or a few of those. You cannot be just alone, uh, not belonging. Then you cannot make your way. So try to find your way, if, if we're talking about the foreigners. Try to find your interest and, and, and then try to find people who share the interest and be there. And then you belong to the scene. That makes your life much, much easier and more interesting even because you can go deeper and faster, deeper understand the things, you know. So you will, you will stop criticizing but uh, start to appreciate it. And you can have that anywhere, but in Amsterdam it's really important for you to, to seek out because there are so many different types of people here and so many things to do and so many lifestyles that you could have, but you really, really have to seek it out. If you're thinking of coming here, I would choose wisely. I think if you want to do it, do it. But if you want to do it just because you want to go somewhere else, 
going somewhere else might be an easier choice. The thing is like that I'm at a point if that I don't know how longer I'm going to stay here. Yeah. I mean, like, of course, I have lived here my whole life. It's like for someone who comes here and maybe Amsterdam, like going towards the impending doom of not being Amsterdam anymore is still going to be much cooler than the place where they come from. And I would say, like, come over and live here, you know, like it's it's it's. It's going to be a very good step for like uh for for like 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 uh developing developing yourself, I would say. Do you still like Amsterdam? I do. Um I I do still like Amsterdam. I mean, I like I said I go through phases with the city where some years I just feel like stuck here like oh my god, circumstances, you know, and other years I feel like what a privilege, what, you know, oh, I don't know how this happened, but oh, thank you, you know? Well, my first tip would be learn how to ride a bike and get a bike. It's the easiest way to go around the city. Oh, and another tip, if you come and live in Amsterdam, sell your car, you don't need it here, it's too expensive. Mm. Don't use drugs. <laughs> <laughs> really?